<laughs> what a place. Ladypool Road. Absolutely love it. Maybe even the best. Now we're here at Holy Smokes Barbecue in Birmingham. Um, we've heard some mental things about this. It's ticking on. Hello, mate. Oh, come on. You're, talking come on, you're in now. I'm in it, yeah. yeah. You're in it. I need to take your number, yeah. Take my number? Oh. No, 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 that's hey! it. What a proposition. Of course, of course, of course. I'll talk to you privately. All right, no problem. Well, I'm just, just doing an intro, so you can go on, just, we'll just stop, go on. We're back. We're back. I heard good things. Um, here it is, look. Let's have a... Are you yeah. open yet? Five o'clock. Five. We're early. What time are we? Welcome, bro. Half yeah. oh, four. We're, we're uh, the early bird catches the worm, That's or the it. second mouse gets the cheese. How about, how about that? I like that, yeah. Right, so we're just waiting for Danny. We've got a guest with us today. Don't know where they are. Danny and Dad. Danny and Steve. Yeah, we've done some wicked content here, bro. It's a, it's a great part of the world. There's a, there was a man selling chickens, rotisserie chickens and lamb's heads in a car park down here. Now, <laughs> at the end of this review, maybe we could swing over there and see if he's still in business. I, I, I actually came to see him about four or five months ago and he, he was overseas. Ah. Yeah. He's got, uh, yeah, absolute character. Very good guy. Selling very nice chicken as well. Like Arabian chickens. Anyway, Ladypool Road. Apparently at night time, this, this street is uh, exciting. I can confirm it is uh, yeah. mental. In the best way. Is the um, Balty Triangle down there? It's one of the ways. It could I be think it's down there, there isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Birmingham Balty, prized curry. If you were to pin me down and actually say, what's your favorite curry? I think a Balty from Birmingham. Lamb or, or chicken are absolutely gorgeous wonderful dish. The, actually, the Balti is the name of the dish, as you guys probably know, and it needs to be cooked and served in a Balti dish. If you ever get a Balti and it's just served on a plate, it's not a Balti. It's, not a Balti. it's, it's actually, here he is. Where are you going? Welcome yeah. to Birmingham. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we're here. They, they are not open till five, but it's a week coming. Hanging. Perks of having a camera. Yes, absolutely. Should we go in? Yes. Right, we're in. Here's the menu. And as always, the signature manoeuvre, my friend, thank nice you for having you, us. Man. Listen, it's really good to have you here, man. Well, I'll, I'm over the moon. Thank you. Thank I've heard you. good things. Do you want to tell us what you're most famous for and what right. you think we should have? Okay. So, firstly, welcome thank uh, you. to you guys. Thank you for coming. We are the first authentic smokehouse in the West Midlands. Wow. When I say authentic, I mean wood fire smokehouse. 6 a.m. we start <laughs> smoking the meat yes. and it's ready by around 4. In terms of what's most popular, it's yeah, definitely okay. the ribs. That's what we sell out of first every day. Um, Beef ribs, here. yeah? The short ribs here. Smoked short rib is what we sell out of every day. Uh, uh, short rib, smoked short rib is the, yeah. like the king. Done right. I've seen it in, in lots of different places. Hopefully you'll enjoy it here. There's a reason, it's funny though, if, if you don't mind me saying yeah. it, there's, there's a reason there isn't a, anyone else doing this, because it's so labour intensive, you have to get it up is. at four o'clock in the morning, you need yep. someone to, that you trust day in, day out yep. to understand how much product to put in the yep. smokers. Yep. It's not, this is not a, a business for the faint-hearted, right? Yeah, and it's not just putting it in, it's watching the temperature, so yeah. it cooks the perfect tender meat. It's mm. not like a burger where you can just like do it and turn it around in two minutes. You need to think the night, the night before. Speaking of burgers, even our smash burgers, I always tell people when they come in here to the smokehouse, they're like, we're not here for burgers, we want your brisket. And I say to them, just try our just smash get a burger. burger. Because our smash burgers are made from the cup that we make the brisket with. We oh, cut the fat off on. and then we smash it into our smash burgers. Meaning it's not frozen patties, it's fresh every day. Yeah. The fat content on it is... Um, 60-40 wow. compared to normal which is 80-20 as you would know, wow, right? It's 20% wow, wow. meat, sorry, 80% meat, 20% fat normally. Our one is 60% fat, 40% meat. It's, it's that's going to be a juicy burger. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you obviously, you're going to get but one. But that's, fl yeah. that's flavour, right? Mm -hmm. sure. All right, so look, we don't, we don't want to eat too much, but I would love to try a smash burger, right. some short rib. Yep. Can I get you what my favourite is? Go on, what's you got? My favourite is the rib witch. Ooh. Yeah. But I wouldn't want you to have that first. It's quite sweet it, and it's, the taste is very different to everything else you're going to have today. If you try the rib witch, you may then find that other things are tasting a bit strange. So I want you to have the ribs first, which is our hot seller. Yeah. Right, the short ribs. Obviously try the burger and then end with the rib witch. Let's do that. Yeah. And any, any uh, mac and cheese triangles, for example? Uh, these are, yeah. So our sides, for me, mac and cheese triangles is good. We had 
the usual mac and cheese, which we'll get back in stock soon. Um, our chili cheese bites and mac and cheese, they're nice, we'll give it a go. The best thing on the menu, uh, in terms of the sides, are our chips, our holy salt fries. They are very different. We cut the chips fresh every morning, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we peel them, we cut them. And then the, the seasoning that we use is the secret salt, which I can't tell you about. But secret when you have salt? it, when you have it, the secret herb, I should say, when you have it, you're going to be blown out of the water. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to be blown out of the water. Oh, Trust me. Trust this me. is great. I love it. All these, I love secrets. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, all right, let's, let's get those secret yeah. secret chips yeah. and mac and cheese triangles. I'd love okay. to try them, if that's okay. okay. We've yeah. got some drinks. Right. Um, in terms of the rest of it, yeah. let's keep it let's keep it simple. Let's go with what yeah. we've ordered. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get that up for you, man. Um, thank you very much. No worries, man. I'm really okay. looking forward to it. God bless. This he was is great. exciting. There's, there's, like I just said, there's a reason that people are doing this because it's uh, expensive, labour intensive. Wastage, if you prep for X amount, and it doesn't sell, you're stuffed, you ain't selling the next day. When you're talking, like they've got brisket on there, look, whole pieces of brisket. This is expensive cuts of meat. So I'm also feeling a little bit dizzy, by the way, I haven't been very, very well. Salman. Salam. Salam. Salman. Salam Cola. What is some sugar? Um, here we go. Marina. That's absolutely like, wonderful. If you were, would it have affected you where you were? Ice is a treat. Yeah, this is a full sugar. Right yeah, full unleaded. Uh, uh, rate that. Rate that very highly. Salam uh, Cola. Marsh. So, obviously, this is the first small cast in West Midlands, like I told you. We've opened four months now. This is our fourth month of running. We went from zero to 31,000 organic followers. No bots, no bot, you know, buying followers. Zero to uh, 31,000 organic followers in four months. In fact, uh, in three weeks, we went from zero to 21,000. Wow. wow, how? Just people, as soon as we opened, a lot of influencers started coming. Yeah. They contacted us saying, you've opened, can we come and leave you an honest review for a meal? We're like, come on, come on in, right? Yeah, great. So everyone started sharing it and it just blew up just blew up so hopefully it will help even a bit more with uh, someone like yourself yeah. having <laughs> well it's, uh, it certainly helps your business doesn't it and um, congratulations that's thank amazing you, thank you. to four thank months you. old yeah wow four, four months old. Uh, go on let's be honest with each other now what what teething issues have you had with the with the business so far smoking meat has it been a learning curve? right the teething issues have been when we first opened we were selling out of all food by 6 7 p.m wow. So the negative, hours the negative reviews were five hours too early. The negative reviews at that time were, if you're going to open a place, why is it yeah, selling yeah. out? We had to explain to people, because you're not having frozen fruit. It's fresh food, whatever our smoker can and fit. And a new business. And we're new Relax. Business. Right. So people were okay about that actually, right? They understood when we explained it that it's, not, it's fresh food, you're not getting yeah, any frozen yeah. food. Everything you're going to have from the pickles uh, to the red chilies you're going to have today, it's all homemade. The barbecue sauce is all homemade. Everything we make in-house, minus the buns, obviously we have to buy, right? So it, it, the process is long. If, if the food runs out, it means we need to smoke a new batch. We can't do that till the next day. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. people understood that, um, and yeah, uh, you know, our reviews are fantastic. And and, and, and and what smokers are you using? We're using an authentic Texas uh, Texan smoker. Like big oil drum, with the You know the inverse smoker, I think it's called. Sorry, um, our smoker is imported from Texas. Oh, well. It's the real, the real deal. Uh, there's a person called Tiberius, which the if you see it says "Holy by Tiberius" mm -hmm. on the on the logo there, right? So Tiberius is a Romanian uh, gentleman who went to Texas for two years. He learned the art of smoking. He is absolutely viral all over TikTok. Um, he came and he opened the store for us and he trained all the staff how Did to smoke. He? Yeah. So he will do that for every store that we open. Well, I suppose the longer you open, the better it's going to be as well. Yeah. Like the more you're going to learn. And Also, we might as well get this on camera because we're right. here. We're rolling, bro. Because you're here. We are moving from here in the next one and a half months. Well, because so far since we've opened, every day, even on the weekdays, we have about a two hour waiting. Uh, waiting from when we open. Yeah. Um, once it starts getting busy, there's a queue outside. Wow. So, if you're long enough here, you'll probably see that queue today as well. Wow. For that reason, we're going to cater for people. We're just moving two doors down, and we're going to go to you a double. To tie your lease up here. Everything is all you done. Sort of you've all done. Get out. We're moving two uh, two doors down in about two months for a double the capacity. So upstairs and downstairs. So hopefully people don't. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right.
Thanks for sharing. No also, way, must you. commend you on this rascal uh, shirt you got. Thank you, man. I bought that from is, Morocco. That is amazing, yeah, bro. Nice. I, if I knew I'm going to be on camera, I might. Yeah, <laughs> you're radiating the rears at me right now. This is crazy. <laughs> Thank it's you, good man. energy, bro. I'm really excited for the food. I, I love barbecue uh, meat. It's like the way the meat should be treated and respected. The long, yeah. uh, pro nothing rushed. Yeah. Yeah. Brings it to life, hopefully, right? Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you'll all enjoy yeah. it today. All right, bless Thank up. You, Thank you. Big up, man. Good luck. Thank you, so, hey, Matt, uh, would you like to see the meat being cut? The We'd love to. Cut? Yeah, come on then. Let's go. Come on, Dan. Oh, my God. Yes, with that salt bag. Yeah, <laughs> Serve it with that coffee pot. All the pickles here are homemade. So that's Matt's food. I'm going to take over that. Oh my god. That looks incredible. Yep. Let's Hopefully go. You guys that looks fing mental. I was salivating over there, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully the rest is going to come out, but this is our like, first um, look at that. Look at the char on that. Oh, I just don't even know what to say. He, he was saying just off camera now that this is an authentic smoker, I'm smoking the right way, right? Not in an electric oven, and you can really tell the difference. It's like comparing a, a, to a Yaris to a Ferrari. <laughs> look, let me put it up in the light a little bit. That bark cannot be faked, cheated, or replicated. Yep. That is hours and hours of rendering and cooking and marinades and rubs and whatever else they do. Um, and it's just beautiful. Isn't it? You can see the moisture in this. Look, just have a little, have a little poke. Look at that. Look. You see the juice? Come on, bro. It looks pretty special. <laughs> Better than the pigeon. It's better than the pigeon I had in Dubai, yeah, that's for sure. Can we cut a bit of uh, Danny's pigeon face on that? Nice big bite, please, Danny. Mmm. It's like a, it's it's like nice. a giant. Um... No, no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> bit of bread. <laughs> you didn't that's look what... like you enjoyed that. I know. <laughs> that's, <laughs> Dan, that's what Danny thought of the pigeon. Yeah. yeah. This is real perks of the job. <laughs> what are you trying to say about the pigeon? <laughs> right, come on. I don't even need to. Yeah, I was getting. Oh my god. That didn't take a lot, did it? <laughs> I've not been to Texas, unfortunately, but that is what I imagine Texas to taste like. This is a, it's a serious special. Lady Pool Road in Birmingham. Who would have ever thought this was on the doorstep? I had no idea it was here. Let's try the barbecue as well. Hopefully it's not too sweet. You smash this, brother. Come here. Have some. This is, um, this is the sort of place I get really excited about. I've not actually seen any content from creators here. But I have heard positive recommendations and sorry for barbecue sauce. Well, um, I'm just delighted to be sat now showing you this stuff. It is absolutely jaw dropping. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Literally beautiful, mate. <laughs> you just look at it all day. I'm going to take this home and wake up the neighbours. Oh. Sort of like melt in your mouth, got a bit of bite to it, a bit of texture, loads of flavour. The bark is uh, kind of deep in pepper and all, all the other herbs and spices. But the real balance in that here is how they've managed to maintain that level of moisture in the meat. It's not a uh, skill you just fall over in a back garden. This is serious stuff. Serious meat. We've got more coming, right? We've got more coming? Yeah, yeah. Barbecue yeah. the barbecue is the one. Yeah, that is good. It's a coffee barbecue. And the trick with a good barbecue is not to have it too sweet. A lot of barbecue 
That is great. A lot of barbecue sauces there. Some of the edges Pure might sugar. be a bit more dry. You want the fat. Yeah, none of it's dry, bro. You sure, yeah? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that was like a fat edge piece. It was delicious. Nice. Oh, Can you tell us what's on your 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 rub on the outside or not? I can tell you, but not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, but I'll have to you, kill you. Know what? I like that. I like that. So it's, you're you're going up in my estimations. Any man worth their soul would never. That was a little test. You passed, bro. No, I'm just interested. It's a, yeah. it's an amazing uh, bark on that. It is. All right. Well, so here we go. You more than what we said. Okay, classic. That's a classic, a classic manoeuvre. Right, so <laughs> <brisket loaded> <laughs> Thank you. This is brisket loaded fry. This is full brisket. Yep. All right. This yeah. is the mac and cheese fry. Oh yes. This is your smash burger that we made from a brisket cut, and then this is one of my favourite. The rib but witch. Yeah, but I'll have it last. So what are you trying to say? It's, it's, too, it's too, too much flavour. Too much flavour. Like, flavor. When you have that much level of flavours, yeah. then other things can taste a little bit like... Oh, like the, the, there'll be electricity, electricity outages and yeah, stuff. Yeah. This is the nice. matrix will glitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just, need, you just so, have, um, need to have this in a dark room by yourself. Not with no eye contact feeling, with anyone in case well. things come out. Yeah, exactly. Nice. If you Try say it. rib witch in the mirror three times, yeah. someone the rib <laughs> monster comes out. Brisket bun as well. Oh my this god. The, this is one of the favourite ones. Favorite. Before we get the... Uh, before it's uh, sort of cut, can we just appreciate? Is that got the barbecue sauce in there? That's got the coffee, the coffee barbecue sauce, which is homemade. Right? That is filtered. The chilies are all in house as well. Now, you, you wouldn't know this, yeah. but out of everything on this table right now, the, the one thing that's really getting my blood flowing yeah. is this. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Brisket so in a, in a bun with that sauce. No, I didn't, didn't even see it. it. No, I didn't. So I but now I've, nice. this is that for me is. Uh, yeah, I'm right getting visibly, I'm getting aroused. I'm <laughs> sure there's women and children we've got. Just, yeah. Give me a go. That's yeah, all right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Everyone, let's just dive in. Wow. Let's, uh, Can I get into the cup for you, lads? Whoop. Nah, you're good. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Man. Thank you, bro. We say this all the time. Bring a camera. When just you go to eat, bring a camera when you go to eat, and this is what happens. It just don't even turn it on. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, funnily enough, I want to go in for a mac and cheese triangle. I know people are probably kicking off. You've got all this smoked meat in front of you, but I just, I just want to try one. I'm sorry. Well, I'm eating that other thing. Can we just cut that again? We'll do that again. <laughs> oh, here we go. So we've got mac and cheese and these like breaded triangles. I don't know if he's going to leave it. That's my first attempt. Strategy's not for what we're <laughs> Absolute plum. Um, they're great. That's the loaded uh, fries. Brisket yeah. fries. Brisket fries. Yeah, these are probably like cut fries. Not your McCain's frozen job. They've nailed the barbecue sauce here. Mm. Barbecue good. sauce can quickly ruin things. This has got a wonderful flavour. That's a lot of chilies on top as well, if you like a bit of spice. I already know what I'm scoring this. A premature score. <laughs> we never come early on here, bro. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Nothing's ever premature around here, boys. <laughs> we always come on time. I wish I could say the same. All right, let's try. Can you be my? Can you be our reference point for this? That's a brisket smash burger. Yes. And well, I'm going to do this. Okay. Together. It's well made. So we'll come together. Oh. We'll come together for a final analysis. Mm. Yeah. Bun feels good. Bun feels kind of dense. Also a bit strong. It's full of juice around it, but it hasn't compromised the, the bread or gone all soggy at all. Good to see. Mm. Very good. I've given notoriously high scores for barbecue bases, and from what I've eaten so far, they ain't gonna f***ing stop today. <laughs> this is wicked. How's that? Very good. It's like a smash burger, but with this meat. Well Sorry. made. So oh, red onion, pickle. Oh, that looks yeah, good. Come on. Co holding together nice. Have a little bite. Just a little side bite. Yeah. It's just full of flavour. Also, not too big. No. Nice little, like, nice little portion. Yeah, it's not messy. It's not falling apart. You don't feel like you need to have a shower after you've eaten it. And what did he call this one? A rib witch. A rib witch. But. He was very adamant that this would wreck the rest of the food. Oh, because it's the uh, power food. And it's so much, so, so much flavour, right. it ruined everything else. Quite so, nerve-wracking. Yeah. 
<laughs> for me or the rib witch? Well, maybe Rob. It, it, what I'm saying is it's, it's bland nonsense. That's it. The rib witch will come out, monster will come out. Mm. That brisket is piping hot, really thick chunks. Dare I say, the start of shows this barbecue sauce, it's, it's delicious. Back on the mac and cheese. Oh, mac and cheese brisket combo. Mm. It's not my first rodeo, Danny. <laughs> Double bite. This is good. Very good. You would not believe this is in Birmingham. I think that people of Birmingham are very lucky to have this here. Absolutely. Serious. We teleported to te uh, Texas. I've got a really strong black pepper taste in my mouth from something there. It's probably this. Like, like stunningly beautiful. Right, let's get into this rib witch. Is it time? It's time. Now look at this. I know what you're saying. We've got this really sweet bread. Yeah. Oh my god. In the light. Jesus, look at that. There he is. The life changing rib witch. I can see already. I'm gonna have this really sweet brioche, almost like French toast, that type of thick, toasted, dense, uh, sugar heavy bread, right? And I've got this caramelized red onion, this rich, heavy meat in the sandwich. Almost like a pudding, no doubt. I'm going into this, by the way. Oh, Do I need to say okay. anything before I eat it? Like, just no, to. No, no, no. Just say a prayer. Huh? Try it. Do you want to have the other half with me? No, no, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Alright. Come on. Come on. Good, right? What else is in that? Homemade, our homemade uh, coleslaw. Yeah. That you're tasting. The pulled meat, coffee barbecue. That's it, man. That's a game changer. Yeah. Genuinely, yeah? Yeah. Bro. You have played Matt, a Matt you, game changer. Ribwich, you have bro. played a, a very. Uh, need to put the price up on the ribwich now. Now nah, come on, <laughs> price has to go down. <laughs> We're men of the people. No, on a serious That's note, you've hilarious. played a yeah, so outstanding. You have played a really nice tightrope there of of flavour balancing, yeah. uh, with the richness of the meat. Yep. It's balanced off by the sweetness of the and the acidity of the cold sauce. It's a very, yeah, very, very you. interesting sandwich. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Very, very good. Thank you, Mark. Congratulations. Thank you, Congratulations. Thank you. It was right. That is, a, that is a delicious. Yeah. This is a, a game changer. Imagine getting this ordered to your house. W uh, where I live, and respectfully, there's a lot of black well, There's none really. Where can you get this type of? Food. The only uh, place you've seen this really is overseas, yeah. Ireland. Not so, not in England. No. I've been to a few smokehouses in the UK, but they are, they are they're good. This has a star quality and an X factor that's I haven't had. It's really really nice. Starting them over here. This is just beautiful. Burger sensational. That is a game changer. These are delicious. This is a superstar product. You want to try something? Mm -hmm. in, in a minute. I'll yeah. Letting that go down. Amateurs. <laughs> um, should we scram some rest and catch up outside? But I would like a little bite or two. Yeah, let's do it. Right, everyone, that was uh, special. I, uh, I just maybe I'm just a sucker for barbecue food. Like when I meet someone like that that's making food within such intent, it really excites me, and it uh, I feel like feel a bit of love. For that person there's a real something about people that want to put that much effort into food i mean in this day and age opening a barbecue shop where you're smoking meat like a caveman <laughs> it almost seems stupid yeah. you're going backwards in time where people are opening cheesecake shops where you just get it out the freeze out the fridge or you're doing just a smash burger or this or that i get it you're doing something that you want to do this feels medieval a little bit backwards and it doesn't actually make sense the labor involved is ridiculous it's expensive, it really doesn't make any sense at all. And that's why I love it so much. Because they know what they want to sell, incredible smoked meats. And forgive me, that is the ultimate takeaway, but you can't get it anywhere to that standard because no one has got the balls or the minerals, the cojones 
to take on a task this tall is reason that people like me and you, Dan, don't climb Mount Everest. Because we don't think we can and we're probably not able to. We'd trip up, we'd die, we'd fall over. <laughs> it's not for us. Yes. Anyone that takes on something like that, a real, authentic smokehouse, I doff my cap to you, sir. Time for a score. I'm going big. I'm going really big. I'm gonna go 9.9. .9. <laughs> <laughs> That's a massive score. I would agree, honestly. It's a massive score, and I want to tell you why. That was classy, sexy, maybe the best I've ever had. Because my one drawback was the, the 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 buns. I'd like to see a slightly better bun, but that's uh, we're nitpicking. Uh, the rib which is on its own is a ten out of ten. One of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. The beef rib at the front, probably the same. Not a huge fan of the pulled meat stuff. It's not for me. However, that was still particularly tasty. Incredible. But the barbecue sauce was nearly perfect. Um, you might be sitting at home watching this now and so Matt, you should even a 10. Maybe I should have done. But some days, nine, nine, let's not, let's not beat around the bush. That's a fucking massive score. Holy smokes, barbecue here in Birmingham. Congratulations. It was an absolute honor for us to be here uh, recording that for you. Some of us foodies and food reviewers think it's about us. It's never about us. It's about the people, the food, the magic, and the energy that they bring. Really pleased to have been here today. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like and subscribe, get in the comments, let us know where we want to go next. Dan and his brand new camera. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, I've only just noticed. That's We've it. got a new camera. Does it look any different, Dan? Nope, it won't look any different to these people, but for me, it's a bit different. There you go. But it's got a fan, right? Yeah, it's got a fan. That's all. Yeah. It's got a fan. That's it. My biggest fan. There we go, bruv. Big up, everyone. I love you lot. Stay out of trouble, please. And we go back inside to finish the rest of this food. Let's go. Holy smokes. 9.9. .9.